me, Marilyn Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. So I have done some hair maintenance or talked about my blonde, either just kind of sitting down and talking to you guys or in vlogs, but some of y'all have asked for like a step-by-step -step of how I do my blonde, how I maintain my blonde in like the full bleaching process. So what I'm going to try to do today is a 10-step step step-by-step of how I go from my starting like my touch up what i need to touch up to how i get my blonde full-on blonde fully touched up refreshed style so that's what i'm going to be doing today so we're in my bathroom everything that i'm going to be using today everything is going to be linked in the description box in my amazon storefront i'll try to also just kind of mention the products that i'm using but if you want them by name they'll be in my amazon storefront feel free to comment if you have any questions or anything like that but i'll try to be pretty descriptive but also keep us a sync because i know when i'm trying to find something i just want the step by step so i can kind of follow along so i am going to go ahead and um cut my hair this isn't necessarily a step but you want to make sure that your hair is um without any product like you want to not have any styling stuff you don't want to have any extra gel or anything so it's not wet right now it's dry but you want to already have it cut so you don't want to bleach it and then cut it so i'm going to go ahead and just cut my hair um i use the wall clippers and i'm not going to necessarily like have you guys go step by step but i'm just going to take the three guard and just cut my hair all over really quickly um I don't go to a barber personally. I'm not a barber. I don't do any like special techniques. I just shave my hair evenly. So I'm just gonna do that really quickly. And then I'll go into the step-by-step -step of how I bleach my hair. I wanted to just jump right into it because like I said, I know when you are looking to do a video, you are probably at home, you have all your stuff or you're getting ready to go to the store and you just want the details. You're not looking for a 45 minute video. You're not looking for an hour long video. You just wanna know how to get it done. So that's what I'm just gonna try to give you guys today i'm hoping to keep this pretty short and easy so like i said i'm just going to speed this part up for you guys you'll just see me just cut it okay so i have cut my hair um pretty low you can see it probably doesn't look like I have much dark hair um, underneath, but I like to keep mine pretty blonde. I'm going to comb it back just so we can get to the root and to the scalp. So I'm just going to comb it back so we can start the actual bleaching process. So what you're going to need for the actual bleaching process is your developer. I'm going to be using 40 developer. This is just um, Superstar Developer from the Beauty Supply Store. I've used more name brand, but also I've used just regular old developer. I've used Clairol. I've used all kinds of different developer. Nothing too crazy for the developer. Um, and then on my bleaching powder, my pre-lightener, this is Kinks and Coils. I buy this online. Um, this is the bleaching powder that I prefer to use personally. I just like the consistency of it. You're going to need your brush. You're gonna need your mixing bowl, gloves, shower caps, um, neutralizing shampoo, purple conditioner shampoo, um, and then eventually we'll need toner, conditioner, and a few other things. So most important though, we're gonna need first our developer and our bleaching powder. So first step is we are going to protect our skin and our edges. So I'm gonna put my gloves on because I have nails and we're going to hit step one. So I'm going to try to do this in 10 steps. Step one. I'm saying the steps for myself because like I said, I'm going to try to keep this succinct and I will put time stamps in the description too. So if you're trying to get to a certain step, you can just jump to it. So we're going to take, I'm taking CeraVe, you can take Vaseline, anything like that. We're just going to put it around our edges. This is so if you get any bleach or any chemical or product on your skin, um, it does not like burn your skin or affect your skin and you want to be careful to not get it on your hair because if you get it on your hair then it's not going to bleach the hair so you'll end up with like a patch um and because my hair is already processed on the top my hair probably won't process need processing as long as if you're going from like black hair to blonde so you'll see i might only process one today or 
I might not need to process as long as far as sitting the bleach on my hair. So this is kind of a touch up, but the process would be the same. So I'm just putting this all around the edges like you would do if you were doing a relaxer. Step two is we're going to do process number one. Most of the times, well all the time, whatever um, powder and developer you're using, they will have your mixing, um, your mixing instructions. So you read your product so you can know how to mix. I'm familiar enough that I know the consistency that I like. I like it thick enough that it doesn't drip off my brush. Um, and because I don't have a lot of hair, I don't have to use quite as much products uh, because I keep mine pretty short. But you're going to mix and I know I use 40 developers. Some people like to use 20. For my first process, I usually use 40 and then I use something lower if I have to do a second process. But I'm going to just go in with the powder and my developer and I'm going to mix it in the bowl for the first process. And then once I get it to the consistency that I like, I will apply this all over my head for process number one. I order stuff like gloves and shower caps in bulk because you will use a lot of them if you are short blonde and if you like to keep your hair um, very blonde like I do. Because I cut my hair each time and I keep it so short, I probably bleach um, every three weeks or so and I do condition in between there and do treatment so that my hair isn't over processed. So you'll see I'm just stirring it here. This particular bleach I like because it gets really thick and I like to say fluffy almost. You don't want it too runny but you also don't want it so thick that it doesn't spread. So this is me just getting it to the consistency that I like. I can always go back and make more but I don't like to make too much because I don't like to waste it because this bleach is not cheap. I don't like to use um, the BW or the one at the hair store personally. Um, I just, I started off using a, um, a more expensive um, Swarzkopf Bleach Me. I really like that one. Um, I just feel like I get a better, a better quality of bleach, a better color, a better tone. So I just like to invest. Bleaching is a lot on your hair. So I'm just gonna mix this and then we're gonna start applying it for process one. And it helps if you have, I have a mirror here where I can see the back of my head. Or if you have to have, use a handheld mirror that helps. Or if you live with someone because you want to make sure you get the back of your head. I like to start in the center of my head. It's usually the thickest part of my hair. I like to start there and then work my way down and then forward. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. I'll speed this part up for y'all. This is going to be process number one. I said in the beginning I am not a professional I am not a licensed cosmetologist I'm not a hairstylist this is what works for me this is why I have not done a video like this I am NOT a professional I believe you should start your bleaching process your blonde process with a stylist I believe you should go to a salon to do your hair I believe you should go to a licensed professional experienced stylist for your bleaching services this is what works for me and what I do at home, chemicals are very serious and can be very damaging and very dangerous to your hair. Okay, people just happen to ask me a lot. So I finally say, let me just show my process. Um, and I've watched some videos and things like that. So this is what works for me. If it does not work for you or you see something that you don't think is good, that is totally fine. I understand. You do not have to do it. That's just my disclaimer. This is what works for me. I've been doing this for a while now. That's just my little disclaimer. I totally understand. Do what's best for you, girl. I just wanna make sure it's all evenly, cause if I do, sometimes if I do the first process really well, I don't have to go back again. And that is always really ideal. All right, so for this first process, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.50 p.m. All right, so once I feel like I have this fully coated evenly, I can get my shower cap and we're gonna let this process. Alexa, set them on for 45 minutes. 45 minutes long, Probably won't even let it set that long, honestly, but let's try it. Oh, this is a cheap shower cap. 
Okay. Alexa, set alarm for 30 minutes. 30 minute alarm set for 621 p.m. Okay. We're gonna let this set. I'm gonna check back in 30 minutes, see how we're looking. All right, the 45 minute alarm hasn't gone off, but the 30 minute alarm has gone off. So I think it's been about uh, 35, 40 minutes. A little tingle, but nothing too crazy. So I think we're feeling good. I think we're going to rinse. So I'm gonna rinse. I normally go in my kitchen sink and rinse. Um, so when I rinse, I'm going to rinse the bleach off then i go in with the neutralizing shampoo this is just going to kind of make sure that the processing stops and then i go in with the purple shampoo um just to take out any of the brassiness and then we'll see from there if i need to do a second process or not so i just like to take off the shower cap just so we can see how that's looking sometimes i'll just kind of move some of the bleach just to see how that's looking yeah i think we're good okay so i'm going to rinse this out and then i'll be back okay let's see i rinsed my hair out i haven't taken this off yet um one thing about when you rinse you want to use cool to warm water you don't want to use super hot water okay so i honestly don't think that was step three so we are step one protecting our skin and our edges step two process one step three rinsing um step or would be process two, but I don't think I'm going to do a second process. I'm just thinking about what I have to do, what I have coming up and what I'll probably need to process again. So if I felt like my hair was maybe still yellow or if I felt like I wanted to get my hair lighter, let me check the back, see if I have any spots in the back. If I felt like, sorry, I'm trying to like see. There we go, that's the side I want. If I felt like I needed to get my hair lighter overall, I would do the exact same thing but a second process. But I think I'm happy with the way that the color came out. So I think I can skip what would be step four and five, which would be a second process and another rinse and i think i'm going to jump to what would be step six which would be toning it here i am as is one thing that you'll see with my hair as it is now i get asked this a lot especially when i post any kind of like hair tiktok or hair video i don't have a relaxer when you bleach your hair especially at first the bleach relaxes the curl pattern in your hair especially when you have it as short as i have it um, over time, as my hair grows out, it will start to wave a little bit more and get a little bit curlier. But no, you cannot relax and bleach your hair at the same time. I do not recommend you try that. If you Google it or if you look it up, you will see what it does to your hair. So number six is toning it. Um, some people just will use like the purple conditioner um, and leave it on their hair. Some people will do like these little hair masks to take it out. Toning essentially is using something with like a purpley base to take out the orangey or the brassy color. Sometimes when you bleach it, you get this orangey color or this reddish color. And when you want it to be more platinum or cooler tone, you use purple to balance it out so you don't have that brassy color. So I like to use Wella. I bounce between um, Wella T14 and T18. I'll be honest, I use them both back and forth. I go back and forth. I don't really have a preference on either that's kind of personal preference i like to use a 20 developer or a 40 developer i usually either use my bowl or just a little squeeze dye bottle and again i don't measure they have the measurements on there to your preference i just like to make it kind of a runny consistency and i'm just gonna do i have any in here let's see if i have some in here oh yeah okay i top still on here so i'm just gonna put it in the bowl and then similar to how i do the bleach I'm gonna apply it all over my head. For the toner, I just leave it on for like a few minutes. Honestly, if you like it this color, you can just go with it this color. And sometimes I do. I don't always tone it, it just depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes putting the purple conditioner on it and leaving it is enough. It just depends on the blonde that you're going for. You can tone it to any color. If I wanted to put a pink rinse on here, I could make it pink. So you can make it whatever color you want. That's all toning is doing is taking the brassiness out or turning it to the color that you wanna turn it to. 
Sometimes I mix T14 and T18, which I think I might do right now just to see what we get. The good thing is no one knows what your hair is supposed to look like. No one knows what you're trying to do. Okay, so now I'm just gonna stir this. Okay, so step number seven, we are rinsing the toner out. You can already see it's kind of turning purple, taking that brassiness out. So step number seven, we are rinsing our toner. All right, we are almost done. You can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's a little more bluish, purplish than it was before. We are already to step eight. Where's my comb? So we are almost done. We are now to what honestly to me is the most important step eight because blonde hair is so delicate, which is why you have to use the cool water, all that kind of stuff. Um, deep condition. I do not skip on the deep condition and the oils and the things. Olaplex, she's expensive. She's that girl though. You need Olaplex. You need Olaplex. You do need her. Um, and because you have such short hair or you're here because you're a baldy like me, this is going to last you a long time. I'm just looking at my hair and the edges. This is going to last a long time. I do like to do a little concoction when I deep condition, but you could just put the Olaplex on your hair and let it sit. But I like to do a little Olaplex in my bowl. Then I like to take a little oil. Whatever oil you like. Some people like to do like jojoba or something. I use, this is a melanin. This is argan oil, vitamin E. This is like a hair oil. And then I like to do um, a clear rinse just for some extra shine. And then I'm gonna deep condition this. Now this I do do in the shower. I do do. I do do this in the shower, um, but I'm just let this deep condition. I let this sit. If you wanna speed this process up, you can sit under the dryer um, but I just like to let this sit a little extra because you really want to put the moisture back in your hair we basically just stripped our hair of everything so really want to put some moisture and some hydration back into the hair and I condition my hair pretty often and oil my hair really, really, really often. Try to use stuff with as little alcohol as possible, silk pillowcases, um, try not to, even like sun, I try to just make sure if I'm wearing a hat, like when I work out, I have a satin line baseball cap, just try to keep your hair as intact as possible. If I go like on a vacation to the beach, I try to like wear a satin scarf, just try to be very, gentle on your hair because blonde hair can break off a lot and especially if you bleach your hair as much as i do that's when you hear people talking about their edges breaking off and the hair thinning and bald spots and stuff like that so i just try to really deep condition as much as i can and every time i bleach my hair i deep condition every single time so now i'm just gonna put my shower cap on let that set and then when i come back we will finish off with our final two steps and you should have 10 steps to your perfect blonde baldy. Hopefully this was easy enough and simple enough. We're gonna deep condition and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. I am washed. We washed our conditioner out. You can see really now the difference where I said it didn't look like I had a lot of dark roots for now. You can really see like how much lighter it is. So step nine, we are going to mousse. Um, in the Amazon store, I have my preferred mousse, my favorite mousse. Some people like Nairobi, a lot of body, a lot of different things. This is the um, Apogee, Apogee, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the one in my Amazon store is a different brand, but it's the one I really like. This one works too. Any mousse really will work. You just want to use a mousse to kind of do the waves, finger waves, kind of get the pattern down. I'm not going to be shy with it. We're going to take a generous amount and apply it to the hair. Now, this is up to you if you want to kind of do a wave pattern or if you just want to slick it down but we are going to do it all over this is going to help to do any flyaways um if your hair isn't completely straightened by the bleach this is going to help with that i don't do sometimes i do waves all over sometimes i just kind of do the edges but 
this is just gonna kind of help to get the general wave of your hair i don't do a part with my clippers so this is where i kind of decide where i'm going to part my hair i guess you could say so i'm just going to take my comb for me this time i'm going to do it on this side i'm just going to kind of comb my hair down this way comb it this way i like to use my smaller brush to kind of brush the hair to the side this way and for me even i feel like the mousse you can use gel sometimes um, I just like to use mousse because I feel like it's just a little softer. I also do have a gel that I like to use in the Amazon store. But I'm just going to take my brush and just kind of swirl it. And you can kind of see those waves forming in the mousse. Again, I'm not doing any like super defined waves or anything like that. My hair is pretty short so I'm not going for any like hard finger waves. I'm just going for a soft natural wave all the way around nothing too crazy and then i just like to go in the front and kind of keep that here there we go okay so that is step nine step 10 whether you want to use papers or a do-rag you're going to set it so this is important, not a, not a bonnet, nothing like that. You have to tie it down very flat is the key. So we're gonna tie very flat. Take this flap here. Of course my battery died on set 10. That's why I tell people it's low maintenance, but it's not no maintenance. You'll get faster at this as you go, but it does take some time. I mean, I had about 45 minutes for the first process. So imagine if I had to do two processes. The first one is a little bit shorter, but it does take some time. So if you do wraps or papers, sometimes I do that. My hair is a little bit shorter, so I don't need it. You don't just want to tie the papers all the way around and then I do the do-rag, but you just want to make sure you go as flat as possible because you want to try to avoid having any kind of line in the hair. And you just want to take the do-rag and tie it. I don't do any kind of bandana or any kind of cloth. I want to try to get something that again is satin or silk, not a bonnet or anything because you want to try to have it flat. I don't like the Velcro do rags or anything like that. Then I just tie it like this and then I'll be back so we can see the final, but essentially that is all 10 steps. All right, y'all, I am back. We are dressed. Here is my hair. As you can see, she is nice and icy. I just took my do-rag off. And this is my hair after my 10 steps to my blonde baldy. Hopefully, you found some steps in there that were helpful, some tips. Again, everything is gonna be linked in my description box to my Amazon store. If you guys have any questions, anything like that, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.